Welcome to my kitchen, where today, we're whipping up a hearty pasta casserole that's sure to satisfy any craving. We'll start by boiling up some pasta. So, let's fill a pan with water. And don't forget to add a teaspoon of salt to give our pasta some flavor. A generous drizzle of olive oil helps prevent the pasta from sticking together. Give it a mix to evenly distribute the oil. Now, let's toss in our pasta. Today, we're using about nine ounces or 250 grams. Make sure to give it a good stir to prevent clumping. While our pasta cooks, let's finely chop one onion. Friends, please write in the comments what country and city are you from? It's very nice to know that we can communicate all over the world. Into the pan goes some olive oil. Followed by our chopped onions. Let's fry them up until they're golden brown. Friends, I'd be happy if you could give this video a like as it's the best reward from you. Next, let's grate in two cloves of garlic for that aromatic flavor. If you have any questions about the recipe, write to me and I will answer as soon as I see it in the comments. Here we have 14 ounces or 400 grams of minced meat. We'll add that in next. Friends, if you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about new similar recipes. Time to season our meat with one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, Let's give it a good stir and let those flavors meld together. Once our pasta is cooked, we'll drain the water and set it aside. Now. Let's prep our baking dish with a little olive oil to prevent sticking. We'll start with a layer of pasta. followed by a layer of our seasoned minced meat. Repeat these layers until we've used up all our ingredients. Let's crack three eggs into a bowl. Add one ounce or 30 grams of sour cream and one ounce or 30 grams of mayonnaise. Give it all a good shake or whisk until it's well combined.
pour this creamy mixture over our casserole for that extra richness. Next up, we'll grate seven ounces or 200 grams of cheese to sprinkle on top. A generous sprinkle of cheese adds that gooey, golden finish. Now into the oven, it goes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit, or 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. While our casserole bakes, let's prep a fresh salad. Cut 8-12 cherry tomatoes in a half. Cut into half rings, one red onion. Pour one cup of boiling water and two tablespoons of wine vinegar over sliced onions and let them sit for a few minutes. Now, let's add one creamy avocado to our salad for that extra richness. Tear up four ounces or 120 grams of fresh mozzarella cheese and toss it in for a delicious bite. Then add one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Finish it off with one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of oregano for that perfect balance of flavors. Our casserole is ready. Let's take it out and see how it turned out. Time to dish up our piping hot casserole and give it a taste. been waiting for. Let's dig in and enjoy. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Until next time, happy cooking.